good morning. Um, our read aloud <clears throat> for today is The Day the Crayons Came Home by the same author and illustrator as yesterday, Drew DeWalt and Oliver Jeffers. Now, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday the crayons wrote Duncan letters and they told him different reasons why they were not so happy with him. Um, but today, the crayons come home and they don't leave him letters. They're sort of like letters, but they leave him postcards. Have you ever heard of a postcard? Well, let's see if we can figure out what a postcard might mean. Hmm. I see a picture of a suitcase. So let's think. Why would we need a suitcase? Think for a moment. I think some of you are right. We need a suitcase when we travel or visit places or go on vacation. So a postcard is something that you send back home to friends or family um, from the place that you are visiting or vacationing. And a lot of times it has pictures of that place so your friends and family can see it too. So today the crayons are gonna be sending postcards to Duncan from different places. Let's see where they go. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. It says, hello from the rug. Hmm. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch when your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had a paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, sincerely your marooned crayon. And it's addressed to Duncan in Duncan's bedroom upstairs, this house. Maroon Crayon is stuck in the couch. Now I'm noticing something. They didn't talk about red crayon or blue or yellow or any of those colors that we really know. Maroon is not a color you hear often, but maroon is like a purplish, reddish color. Let's see all the different colors that are writing to Duncan from different places because here's a hint, they're not your average everyday colors. It looks green to me, but let's see what this crayon is really called. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green, like the vegetable. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as Pea green. Pea green. Ducky. <gasps> this is a beautiful color. Beautiful. Neon. Neon means really, really bright. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we took with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back home. Left behind your neon red crayon. She's left at the pool. Not a bad place to be left. Uh-oh. I see two colors kind of mishmashed into one. Yellow, orange. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun, but guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us together. <gasps> 
That's why they looked so mixed up. You know all the, the real color of the sun? Hot. That's what it is. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. You're not so sunny friends. Yellow and orange. I kind of like yellow and orange mixed together. Oh no. It looks sort of brown, but let's see. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't even tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? <gasps> oh no. Because I have. I've been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, and it is not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your tan or possibly burnt sienna crayon? Oh no. Looks like Duncan was not very careful with these special colors. I hope they can make it all back to him. Hmm. I see the crayon really teensy tiny in here. I wonder what he'll have to say and how he got here. Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. He's stuck, stuck behind the door. <gasps> This is really cool and I wish that we were reading this in the classroom because not only do we see these illustrations, it has texture. The texture feels kind of raised up, like chalkiness or kind of like sandpaper. So this is a very special type of crayon. Notice the page is black. What type of crayon do you think this might be? Take a moment to think. I wish I could hear your thoughts here. Maybe turn and talk to a brother, sister, mom or dad. See what you think. I'm thinking it's a glow in the dark crayon. Let's see. I was right. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend glow in the dark crayon. The illustrators of this book are amazing because again, I can feel the illustration with my fingers. It's pretty awesome. neon a different type of neon red neon again is on her way home <gasps> but i think she got lost let's see remember she was walking from the pool dear duncan looks like i'm almost home been through china canada and france i think just crossing new jersey by camel now new jersey is giant pyramids right See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. I don't know about you, but I don't think New Jersey, the state right next door to us in New York, has camels and pyramids. I think neon red needs some help with directions. Oh, this is one of Miss G's favorite colors ever. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard, don't you think? And no bronze or silver pile. Look here, these coins coming out of the pirate chest. Gold. I told you I'd be blunt if you colored each coin individually. But did you listen? No. I also told you these stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Oh, 
gold crayons right. Miss G does not like crayon sharpeners. We don't sharpen crayons, do we? No. <laughs> Did you listen to me when I told you that? Also, no. Now, I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, gold crayon. Look, there's a mini pencil. That's good for sharpening. <gasps> the gold crayon got stuck and doesn't have a point. Esteban the Magnificent again. Let's see. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's raining. I'm coming back. It looks like it did outside yesterday, right? Esteban decided he wants to stay. He doesn't want to travel. Hi, Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky, on head buddy. Turquoise crayon. I know a lot of us like the color turquoise or we call it teal, right? Turquoise is stuck. <gasps> I like this color too. It's like a periwinkle blue. Let's see what the author calls it. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon, but I belong to your baby brother. I can't take him anymore though. I can't. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top off my head. Put me in the cat's nose drawn on the wall. The worst part is he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he, I don't think he meant your brother. Please rescue me, your desperate, big, chunky, toddler crayon. <gasps> We have some of these jumbo crayons in our classroom that we love to use, but he's not happy. He's not being treated well by the baby. And yes, pretty scribble scrabbly if you ask me. Uh oh, let's see if Neon Red is finding her way back home. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Let's cross check like we do in small group reading. <gasps> it says the Amazon rainforest, so I'm gonna use what I know. What do you think the Amazon rainforest would look like? Picture it in your mind. Now let's look at the picture to help us. Think, cross check. Does that make sense? Does that look the way an Amazon rainforest would look like? The Amazon is hot and rainforests would have big leafy trees. But here I see snow and skiing. That doesn't make sense. I think red crayon, neon red crayon, doesn't know where she is. I'm making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. I don't know about that. Hello, Duncan. It's me. Brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy bars, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else you want me to color, do they? Very silly. Think about what else is brown and not so pretty. <laughs> that brown crayon might be used to color. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to coloring chocolate candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, brown crayon. Use what you already know to think about what brown crayon might be talking about. <gasps> Look at all the postcards from all the special colored crayons. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years. 
So he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. But Duncan had an idea. Take a moment to think. If they don't fit in the box anymore, where could you put them? Think about what we have in room 12 on each table where we keep our crayons. Nice and safe. <gasps> wow, look at that. Duncan is a problem solver. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. The crayon fort. And it says really funny things like no dogs allowed. All crayons welcome. I love it. So creative. And I think an important lesson that Duncan learned in this book, it's really important to take care of the things you care about. Even though crayons can't really talk in real life because this book is fiction, which means not real, I still think it's important to know that treat your crayons as if they were real, right? You wouldn't want them to feel sad or broken like Duncan's crayons. So I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud and I hope you enjoy making some art with your crayons um, over the next few days. I will see you a little bit later on. Enjoy the day.